of gold dust. I don't even know how you can eat that, but that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no clue, but I'm sure it's going to be an exciting one tomorrow night if Big you want to watch the Oscars right here on ABC. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel is hosting. There we go. Good host for go. them. What's going on outside? <laughs> well, it's a nice night. You're going to need the coats, though, again. It is a little bit chilly out there. Friends, Indicator, one of the many spots with crystal clear skies tonight. The stars are out, even the moon a little bit as well tonight. Temperature today got up to 72 degrees, just a little bit above our normal and our low temperature this morning was just a little bit below the normal for this time of year. But one thing to point out, no rainfall to talk about. First Saturday since mid-January, we've been able to say we didn't have any rain threat whatsoever. And Southern Pine Electric Radar really showing that. Not a cloud in the sky across the Twin States. And then we do expand this out across the entire Southeast. Nothing much to talk about. The only feature, a couple of clouds and showers down towards Dallas and also just off to the west of Houston out there in Texas. But other than that, it has been a crystal clear and perfect day for us here to start the weekend off. Temperatures right now are in those 40s, really cool down. Louisville still the cool spot at 37, 41 off towards Demopolis, and a little bit warmer the farther south you go, 47 in Hattiesburg. And those dew points really reflecting the fact that we do have that drier air in place, 30 degree dew points for the most part across the region. And that's where our temperatures really will settle in tonight as we go throughout the night. It is going to be a fairly chilly one, and winds are calm as well. So that's going to help cool things down even more. But for, that's not that doesn't mean we're going to have a frost or a freeze potential, much like we did last night when some of us got near freezing. So temperatures again across the southeast, mainly again in those 40s, up through Alabama into Tennessee there. Memphis still sitting at 50. And down near the coast, of course, New Orleans, one of the warmer spots, as always, at 56. And again, there's that drier air mass in place across much of the southeast. But you do go off towards the southwest. You can see those dew points picking up just a bit into those 40s and 50s. And that's we're going to see our next weather system develop as we go into the early part of this coming week. So we're checking out those temperatures again as we go throughout the night tonight, mainly upper 30s, lower 40s, though, if you go south of Interstate 20. So again, make sure you have the jacket on hand tomorrow, though, those temperatures back up into the lower 70s as it's going to be a very nice day. So anything outside you may want to do a barbecue, hanging out at any of the parks, it's going to be a perfect day for it to end the weekend. But high clouds do stream in as we go into Monday morning, keeping those temperatures warmer overnight. And then we'll start to see those isolated rain showers on Monday afternoon as temperatures start to warm up again just a little bit as we're going to get into those 70s one last time. And again, throughout the night tonight, we're going to see those temperatures dip down, but warming right back up as we get into the day tomorrow. So tonight, again, 38 with those clear skies in place. Going to be a very nice night. As we go throughout the day tomorrow, warming up into those 70s, and it's going to warm up to be 73 degrees. So a very, very nice day tomorrow. Before rain chances do arrive once again, Monday into Tuesday, best chance for rain is going to be on Monday night. We could see about an inch of rain from many locations, but we don't have much rain to talk about after that. Check those temperatures out. Only in the 50s Wednesday and Thursday and near freezing overnight. So it's going to be colder, but the good news is we don't have as much rain in the forecast like we did these last few weeks. It's been a washout lately, but at least we don't have one this coming week. And, and at least we don't have to get out the earmuffs. I mean, that's one of the things. Yes. It's, you know what I mean? I, look, looking back to January, 13 degrees is 12 mm -hmm. degrees, even below that. I'm happy to see the fours, the 40s. That's know? right. We're in March now, so I think we're well. Well, maybe, hopefully so. Spring break right around the corner. There we go. All right. Thanks a whole lot, Damon. Well,